Hello Virgo, this is Gypsy Spirit here with you, ready to give you a tarot and a love reading, something that I'm doing now. Um, you'll be getting a, re a daily reading for uh, both tarot and love. Um, th this is for Wednesday, July 31st, so um, we can get through a couple of formalities here. First of all, this is a general reading. Um, some of it may resonate with you, some of it may not. Um, if you want your own personal reading, which you can get, all you got to do is just go down the description box below and go to my website and it will give you instructions on how to get your own personal reading. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Virgo, I, I see both your cards, the, the regular tarot. We're just doing a one card draw for every day. So, um, for July 31st, uh, yay Virgo. <laughs> You got the death card. Please don't cry when you see this card. This, you know, I think this is the best card in the whole deck. I love it. What the death card means is that you have been holding on for something. It could have been, it could have been something that you suppressed since childhood. Could have been something that happened to you, you know, years ago, months ago, whatever, and you just wouldn't let it go, wouldn't let it go, and finally you have let it go you've let it go <laughs> and you know it's it's such a release you know um, when you let something like that go you feel lighter and uh, it's an indication that you're growing that you're evolving you're moving forward so this is a great card so please you know one time I had a um, a group of people that I was doing a, a tarot readings for and this death card came up and of course everybody was drinking and this poor young girl um, when she saw that card she I, we couldn't get her to stop crying and I kept trying to assure her this does not mean that you're dying it means that a part of you is dying that needs to die you know um, like for me um, if you know I tend to hold on to, I'm a Leo, so I'll hold a grudge and a heartbeat and I'll hold it for a long, long time. And so, you know, I know that when I let or I forgive and I let go of that grudge, um, it helps me to move forward and it keeps from blocking me to, to, to new opportunities. And so that's what I see here for you, um, Virgo, is that you let go of something um, so that you could uh, remove those blockages and move forward in your life. So yay, you know, this is really good. So in your love life, let's talk about that for a minute, uh, Virgo. I got the moon card in reverse. So it tells me that <laughs> um, when I get the moon card and it is in reverse, it's like um, because you have let something go in your life that you needed to let go of, it changes your perspective, it changes everything in, in relationships, uh, how you feel about things. And so there may be something that was going on in the relationship um, you may have been on the fence about. Um, could have been some sort of a, something that was going on in the relationship that you didn't feel right about is for for some of you that I'm getting uh, I'm getting for some of you that um, you didn't feel like you were being treated very well in the relationship um, and you were trying to hang on to it for some reason or another maybe it has something to do with your self-esteem your self-love integrity respect whatever and you just weren't really uh, getting uh, what you truly deserved from the relationship and when you let go of something uh, in your life uh, you, you remove a, a blockage that's been holding you back uh, like I said your perspective about things begin to change and so some things about your romantic relationship has changing like you are growing and you are seeing that this person may not be growing in the direction that you're growing or maybe um, you finally found um, through letting go or releasing whatever it was you needed to release, you realize how, how you really deserve the very best. And maybe this person that you're with, 
is not your very best. Um, so that's, you know, there, there's a lot of stuff going on with you right now, Virgo. Um, and it's really good stuff because you've, you've let go of something. And so now new opportunities are waiting for you. And um, so, you know, you're, you're making changes in your life. You're evolving and you're moving forward. And hey, this lover that you have may not fit in, may not be a good fit for you right now. Um, or they not be, may not be growing with you or, or, or whatever. So <clears throat> that's that for, you know, Wednesday, July 31st. Um, can't wait to see what happens with you tomorrow. But um, in the meantime, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, by all means, please hit the subscribe button. And I'm doing something a little different here. Uh, I do a lot of readings here in my home in Charleston, South Carolina. And I don't charge people. I ask for a monetary love offering. And uh, people are, most everybody is very, very generous with that. And, and I love doing it this way. So for doing these daily tarot readings, I've decided that um, in the description box, I have my PayPal account address. And if you would like or feel led to, uh, you know, donate to, to this channel, to this YouTube channel. Of course, I have to have, you know, money to run the electricity and, and the phone and so forth. You understand. Um, so if you feel led, uh, every little thing, every little bit helps, um, is certainly appreciated. So, um, thank you so much for listening and I will see you again tomorrow. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.